Um, if you ask us today whether LEDs are ready to replace all uh, high pressure sodium lamps, then we say we are ready for it today. Um, a few years ago we started to replace um, HID also in residential areas, uh, but today we are so far that uh, also uh, on traffic routes uh, up to and including motorways we can replace up to 250 watt with a real fit and forget solution with LED and even up to 400 watt with a 50,000 hours lifetime solution. So to summarize, yes, we are ready to replace all HPS lamps today. If you ask me that, um, actually uh, it's all started a few years ago in applying LEDs in, let's say, residential areas. In areas where the lighting levels are relatively low. Um, so in that time, with the LEDs available at that time, you could realize uh, a good energy uh, efficiency, so save a lot of energy. And that was really um, the start of LED application in outdoor lighting, in street lighting. Um, now, three years later, um, we, have, uh, we have realized to, with, with new LEDs, with better LEDs, with better drivers, to increase this energy efficiency per, per LED. And now we are ready, uh, with Luma for instance, uh, to realize good traffic route um, applications as well. Um, as I've said, uh, even up to motorway applications, which is the highest lighting level um, required. And having said that, um, it's not only a few standardized solutions, but nowadays with programmable drivers, uh, you can even tune your um, lighting solutions to the specific situation and requirements of a specific area or a specific street or a specific traffic route. We tune our luminaires, we tune our lighting systems to the specific requirements for a specific area if people want to do that. So this is really the system thinking uh, which has come to reality and as we say it this call it a vision uh, has really become reality now. Well from the start uh, let's say three years ago um, we had to overcome uh, a real number of challenges um, uh, both in technology and in the market uh, acceptance. Um, first of all, in the market acceptance, um, the people uh, really had to get uh, another mindset. Uh, they were very used to see a luminaire apart from a light source, from a lamp, uh, as two different things. Um, you replace a lamp in, th in three years' time, so you get it out, you get it in again, and then a new cycle starts. So these were two different worlds. With LED, you have the opportunity to combine these two in a real integrated design to optimize the LED benefits. And this change of mindset was one of the most important challenges to overcome. Um, and we, we've done that, in, uh, first of all, in, uh, in, in Stella to, to create a real uh, integrated uh, approach uh, in which thermal management and optical management and the design of the fitting was really an integrated process. Um, the thermal management, technolo technolo technically spoken, was uh, one of the um, most important technical challenges uh, to meet. And at the same time in the market, this was um, often, let's say, a bit uh, neglected sometimes by parties who, who didn't uh, take a, a lot of notice to thermal management and just uh, through one solution on one pile with the other. Whereas thermal management is really the key for the performance of LED lanterns. You have to get that right to get your lifetime, to get your lumen output of your solution. The second technical uh, challenge was the optical um, design. Uh, in the past with conventional luminaires we had a lot of, actually a lot of light spill, uh, which was not calculated, which was not, let's say, recognized um, and with LED you can make really um, let's say cut light distributions to get the light on the place or the street for instance where you want it. Um, so the, the challenge was really to get the light there 
where, uh, where it was calculated, where it was purposed for, and that is on the street. So that's uh, where we designed uh, lenses, lens technology, to really direct the light where it is awarded. And these two together, thermal and optical management, um, make sure that you optimize your energy efficiency of your system. So it's not a lantern and a lamp anymore, it's a lighting system. And that's actually the mission we have to get across, that people don't buy a lantern and a lamp anymore, but a lighting system, and optimally for a fit and forget period of, say, 20 years, 100,000 hours. Yes, actually, if you ask me uh, whether we have done uh, outdoor projects with LED, I realize now that uh, in 2011, for us, it's already very normal to, to talk about outdoor lighting projects with LED. It's not in the experimenting stage anymore. It's just normal for a lot of people. Um, I mean, there are over, throughout Europe, there are a lot of places, um, residential areas, communities, on a smaller scale where they have started to use our LED products. Um, but at the same time, already uh, big decisions have been made by some big cities. For instance, uh, Birmingham is a good example, where they have really decided full scale to go LED, which means that they have really realized not only the energy saving uh, benefits of this application, um, but also really um, have appreciated uh, and, and found it the total cost of ownership benefits of LED applications, which includes maintenance benefits uh, and these kind of things. Um, so not only looking at initial cost, which is a bit more than conventional lighting, but at the full cost over the lifetime of an installation.